All right, so the last part of our geometry, we need to create the splines. Those are the only thing that are left to create. That's part of our drawing. So if I open up the drawing again, you're going to notice those two splines. They're the only thing left to create. So I'm going to go ahead and create them in this video. So first, if you look at the drawing, you're going to notice that there's a detail that I've created on the right side of the drawing. So that detail is just a little bit more detail for the little section over here. I did not want to uh, basically jam all the dimensions in this drawing. So I created a little detail on the side uh, to go through and dimension the rest of the stuff that I need to dimension. And uh, right away, you're going to notice that these dimensions, there's a lot of little dimensions over here, and they're all based off of points. So there's four points, one, two, three, and four that I've created over here. And those points I used to create the splines with. Okay, so I've connected the splines using those four points. So again, those points are dimensioned be by this wall and this bottom wall uh, down here. But they're not dimensioned based on the origin. So you're still going to have to add whatever the origin in X and Y is to whatever the dimensions are from this wall and the bottom wall to the point. For example, if we got our first point right here. It's 0.25 from this wall to this point. But it's right on this wall right here, so it's 0 and Y. So just 0.25 and X. Well, I already know that my origin right here to right here is 0.75. So what I'll do is I'll add 0.75 to the 0.25 in X. So that's 1 inch in X. I'm going to be moving 1 inch in X. And then I already know that this is 2.5 in Y. So 1 inch in X, 2.5 in Y. This is my first point location. Okay. For example, the second point is going to be 0.6 plus the 0.75, which is going to be 1.35. So that's going to be 1.35 in X. And then the 1 inch added to the 2.5 inches over here. So that's 3.5 inches in Y. All right. So you do that to all four points and you add the geometry and to create the spline. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to minimize my drawing real quick and select point. So for the point, and I already told you the first point, it's going to be 1 inch by 2.5 and 0 and Z and hit enter. And there is your first point being placed on the drawing. And it looks good, so let's go ahead and go to the second point. The second one is going to be 1.35 by 3.5 by 0 and Z and hit enter. And there's your second point. Looks good, so I'm going to go to my third one. My third one is going to be 1 inch again. And it's going to be 5 inches in Y and 0 and Z. And last but not least, the last point is going to be 1.35 by 6 inches by zero and hit enter. And there are your four points. So go ahead and select OK. And let's go ahead and connect them using a spline. So select manual spline, create manual spline over here. And all you need to do is select that first point and keep selecting the rest of the points. And you'll see that spline is created using those four points. When you're done, you're going to see that you can still select past your last point. Just hit escape and you're done. All right. So there's my first spline. So now we need to create my second spline. Well, you can't really do it using an offset. And the reason for that is it will create it at an angle. Because the line isn't straight, the, ang the offset will actually create the offset at an angle this way or this way, depending how the line is moving. And it will not be straight. But I need it to be straight. Well, the best way to do that is to actually use the translate, the XForm translate uh, feature works better that way. So go ahead and select that. Hit enter when you select it. And what you'll need to do is you have to move it 1.65 or copy it 1.65 in X. Hit enter and there is your second spline. So the second spline is much easier. You just select your first one and translate it 1.65 inches to the right. And that's because that's what it says in our drawing 1.65 inches. And you select your second, you create your second spline right there. That's all you need to do. Make sure copy is selected for translate. And hit OK. Select clear colors to clear all the colors. All right. So I'm going to place this back into isometric, uh, no, uh, fit to screen and isometric view just to make sure everything looks great. And there you go. So that looks exactly like my drawing. Just to verify that, go back to your drawing and make sure it looks good. And really all you're worried about is creating the top geometry. The rest of the stuff I'm going to be uh, basically defining in Mastercam how deep to go down and how deep to machine. Now, the only thing I know that I need to create in geometry wise is I want to create also an outer box out here, but I'm going to wait until 
in the next video when I'm setting up my stock to create that outer box because I'm going to use an outer box as a definition to define my stock. I'm going to create a big block this time uh, to machine. So I'm going to create a geometry, a big box around my block. Uh, but I'll do that, like I said, in the next video and I'll explain why.